The way we operate is um, each of these coastal patrol vessels, um, it'll be tasked to do uh, numerous things. So one will be to make port visits, um, raise profile, uh, talk to local community. The others will be to look for specific vessels of interest. So those vessels of interest could come from uh, information we've received uh, or intelligence either that we uh, are using as border force or our partners have provided. So we're actively looking for those vessels. Um, and we'll also do routine patrols of coastlines, areas of vulnerabilities that are known. Um, and the crews will then assess each vessel as they come across that um, and then determine whether they need to challenge the vessel and then start to ask it a sort of routine set of questions and then take action from there, which may be to board uh, the vessel. Um, and then if offences are detected, uh, to obviously take that process through uh, and bring the vessel and those individuals into a port. We also work closely with uh, other law enforcement colleagues so local police, uh, national crime agency and others um, to make sure that we're supporting each other. So we are securing the UK uh, maritime border. But again, against our primary role, which is um, uh, around immigration offences and customs offences. Recreational boating is, uh, is absolutely huge. Uh, we, we, we all know that. Um, so what we need to do is make sure that the majority of recreational boaters can go about their business uh, and enjoy uh, the water and the maritime environment but clearly some criminals are going to mix within that recreational uh, boating environment. So again, our role is to make sure we can identify where the criminals are um, and to make sure that we interdict on those um, so that actually we can all use uh, the maritime and the waterways um, safely um, and without the criminals impacting. If we do have to uh, board a vessel, uh, what we'll do is initially there'll be a challenge made from, um, from our vessel. Um, so the command of the vessel will call uh, the vessel um, obviously explain we are border force and the reason that uh, we, we wish to um, challenge or potentially board the vessel. There will then be a series of questions uh, and then if needs be uh, the commander of the vessel uh, will then um, uh, say that we intend to board the uh, vessel. When that happens um, obviously our vessel if it's a coastal patrol vessel uh, will come alongside um, of the yacht um, so the uh, yacht owner or the recreational um, owner themselves, you just need to uh, make sure you reduce the speed correctly uh, and just facilitate us um, to bring our vessel alongside um, your vessel. Um, quite often we may not actually board the vessel, um, we can do a lot of the challenges uh, whilst we're on board so we don't actually need to cross deck um, anybody on there but if we do obviously our officers are trained in order to do that. And Project Kraken allows us um, a route where uh, members of the public can report suspicious activity into border force. Um, and by saying Kraken, um, it flags it up as a maritime related uh, piece of information. And the way to report that is either through 101 or through uh, Crime Stoppers. Um, and it's a really useful um, tool for us. Um, and it means that we can then uh, look at that uh, information reporting, analyze it, and then as appropriate, put one of our assets at times quite quickly uh, to respond to that reporting.